Right. India should be on their way. There we go. The army of India will lead the way until we get out of the Florida Peninsula. Right. Marines, yeah, you don't need to guard that anymore, so feel free to join in on the invasion. So you, your job, expand as much as possible if you can get to here. I would love it if you could make it to there. Before the American troops come in earnest. Right. Ah, planes. I think... If we move there... There we go. We can better contest the airspace now. I still need more. Still need far, far more. And I, I have the planes. I have the planes. 15k planes. Massive air win. Off you go. Enter the enter the skies. Go from Cuba. Yep, if you can't take the port, encircle it. That's fine as well. Florida could probably be screwed by the Marines alone. Indeed. The Marines are going so hard. There we go. American troops taken out. That's another port we're taking. Which will help a lot of our supply issues. Which we don't have any of right now because the Marines are quite small and mobile. They don't... They didn't seem ready for an invasion, I'll be honest. They're like Britain. Where they didn't have, really have an army to oppose the landings. Which is great. It, that is absolutely wonderful. More than you know. Alright, I've done everything special forces wise. I never did get maintenance companies for my tanks. Maybe I should do that. Tanks. Or trucks. Nah, tanks. Tanks. Get yourself a maintenance company. Well, that reduces a lot of stuff, apparently. Armor? That's weird. Give them a maintenance company. Uh, support equipment, it's gone down by 900. No, okay, no, we're fine. We're fine. Okay, Army of India, where are you? You have landed there. Why have you landed there? India, you're... <laughs> That's the wrong place! Did you get lost? Head to America! Oh, we, we can attack Nicaragua. Great. I'm probably not gonna go through... Oh, can I not? Oh, it was there! What about Costa... I didn't do Costa Rica! Ah, well that's just... annoying. What am I supposed to do? I suppose I could launch a naval invasion. As far as the Americans didn't enact the best battle plan to sink Florida. No, apparently they didn't. Alright, let's make it across. They... Where is the American army? I'm about to get to the point where I can probably deploy everyone. But there is no one here. I'm just taking military factory after military factory. I'm taking port after port. Like, supply is not going to be a problem. And these just are just marines. These are probably the one of the worst. Not the worst, but they're certainly, you know, not the most bulkiest infantry I have. Yeah, I've taken that. Right, I think... Have I got enough real estate to deploy the full army? I think I might. Alright, full army deployed. Let's get them going, guys. Yeah, especially take that port. We'll need that. <laughs> we'll need as much frontline uh, supply as we can possibly get. Okay, the army of India is here. Right, your objective is probably, if I can, a lot of this. <laughs> it's a very vague objective, but uh, just see if you can capture that part of America. Now, I have a collaboration government, uh, several actually. I have a, oh yeah, I didn't get a, I didn't get the last one, but I have a lot of collaboration in there. 
Oh, Spain. Spain, goddammit. Right, so they use Cuba as sort of a staging ground. Oh, speaking of staging ground, what the hell do you think you're doing? I took a chunk of Cuba, and that's it. And now the transports are being attacked. Right, I'm also gonna need to expand my Navy's control. I don't have any control of this. Holy crap, they've completely reversed it. Um, right, you guys. I'm gonna need the Navy. All of you? Abandon your orders. Your orders are to protect this. You guys too. Abandon your orders. Your orders are to convoy right here. Go. Because what I don't want is a attack coming into Florida. Like, they, they'll just invade here. Uh, what I actually need... Where's that other army? I had, like, an extra army on top of this, didn't I? Not you. I had, like, a dump army, didn't I? You. Great. Good. You. Defend Florida. That's your job. Your job is to defend Florida. Also, yeah, when you're ready, just, uh, just go. You, you've already, you've already done your, uh, done your job. If you can, capture a few more ports. That would be great. Just keep the pressure up. Don't let them entrench too much. India, if you can just secure a few more ports along here, help with supply. We haven't even put tanks in here yet. You know, in reality, would this would this ever work? If every American has a gun, or if there's like, you know, a, a, two guns for every American, it, well, that's current day. But you know, if there's so many guns in America, would uh, you would be fighting like Stalingrad quite a lot in America? Provided, well, now to be fair, I got like a lot of collaboration governments, so maybe a lot of them agree with me. Maybe a lot of them like, yeah, Portugal should win. You know, I feel like America is just an extension of Portugal. I I have a Portuguese neighbor. And they can't stop saying how great Portugal is. How many people have I... How many Americans have I killed? Ten million. Holy crap, I've killed two million. I've killed two million Americans. Two million. Okay, supply issues are rare in the ugly head. So please get down here and capture New Orleans. You definitely focus on Charleston. We need port access. Alright, capture all the ports in North America. They can't stop us! They can't stop us! <laughs> they really can't stop us. Holy crap. Holy crap. Right. Um, now you guys. You need to be on a smaller front here. Your job is to just push up like all of America. Just all of it. Like right there. I think the supply issue is slowly solving itself as I expand out and take the American supply lines. I don't think an airdrop is going to do this, by the way. Like, if anyone's... If anyone's about to suggest that I do an airdrop to supply my men, you're crazy. Alright, Norfolk is probably the next best place. There's also a Richmond, which is a good uh, supply zone. Is that modern tanks you're building there? Apparently so. Is that a nuclear power plant? What are you doing that for? 
Speaking of which, I should get nuclear. I never even bothered. I don't know if I would use nukes, but I should probably just go for it, right? Yeah, but instead of anti- armored cars, sorry. Maybe I should go with, like, nukes. That sounds much more fun. Oh, that's an airbase with a lot of planes that are no longer there. Well, there we go. This is this is payback for everything you've done to me, America. I'm just absolutely walloping your troops. It's not even a contest. My tanks aren't even here. This is infantry. It's just infantry doing this. We're about to go to... I'm heading to the White House as we speak. I'm about to knock on the door of President Truman and say hello. What the Portuguese equivalent of hello. I don't know what that is. What, how do you say hello in Portuguese? Uh, yeah. And we're about to do that. Well, Spain's helping move the planes, at least. Uh, stuff I'm too late to do, like, move over uh, planes when I uh, when I need them. Alright, I don't think I need that much stuff here. Let's change it around a bit. These airports are not very reliable. Some of them are really tiny. Alright, we're about to take this. Yep, keep moving on to Washington. They're like a battering ram, holy crap. Right, any of my tanks that are here, just go. Go forward. Hola. Hello, nation, by the way. I don't think I said hello. Uh, why does the illustrious Portuguese leader sound so English? How dare you? How dare you? G get out of here, Bucky. Saying I sound English. This is natural Portuguese. This is like the natural accent. Because the entire world is Portuguese. So the entire world's accent is natural. If you don't understand that, then why are you here? How are we doing? Yeah, 25% of the way there. If, uh, if you want to do like this, if you just want to go like Texas and go brrrr, like that, yeah, let's do that. Let's go. We got like wh one guy. Seriously, one guy. They can't. <laughs> and the troops are worse than mine. They're, oh god, if Germany was part of my alliance, they would just pour troops in and it would be so thick. Alright, tanks are doing well. Right, the Army of India, you no longer need to have your own battle line. You can just join in on this one. Same with Marines. Holy crap, the Marines? You've done so much. <laughs> I you can probably uh you can probably back off now. What'll have you do? I'll have you defend some of the ports. Just as we expand. I don't need you to assist in combat. Okay, Washington has been taken. I have taken Washington from America. Uh, there's a naval invasion off the Gulf Coast. I don't think that'll matter. My troops are going really hard. We're in Baltimore. It's Philadelphia over there. Just my tanks are driving across. Okay. I think... Have, have we got this? I think we got this. America turned out not to go that hard. I mean, I did... I'm gonna be honest. I did kill... How many quarter of a million in South America? Like, from their invasions? I imagine that reduced their capacity to defend themselves. They could probably not out, knock out Canada. Uh, Canada. I could. I don't think I'll need to. Because America's the last major. Yeah, America's the last major. So if I take out that, I won't even need to kill Canada. Canada will just surrender. There's New York. 
We're heading that way with our tanks. Our troops are heading all the way into Detroit. And I'm gonna this is what I need. I need American manufacturing and resources for then the the invasion of uh You know, that place. Uh, Germany, that was it. Because Japan Japan's yeah, Japan's probably doing pretty well. Japan's doing pretty well for themselves. Yeah, the eastern seaboard, it's mine. Eastern coast of America, that's all mine. If you just want to take a tank and just do that, that'll, that'll solve that issue. There's New York. There's no other allied troops. All the other allied troops are dead. There's like a random British troop just around. No Mexican forces either, because they're all distracted with Spain's failed invasion. It is, you know, Spain did turn out, they did turn out to be a bit like Italy. Gotta be honest. Canada is a major. Canada, oh, Canada is a major. I was wrong, okay. I will take out Canada as well. Okay, we need Boston. Just gonna go for a tour of all the major American cities. We're in Buffalo. Hey, can you go through Canada and get to Detroit? Wow, this is... This is going really well. <laughs> this is going surprisingly well. I have all... I had all the troops I needed. Um, how am I doing for guns? question. I got a lot of guns. I need a lot of steel. I didn't think I would need that much steel. I wonder if I can get the steel from my invasion of America. Okay, I got Detroit as well. Uh, America. Oh, yeah. America is almost done for. If I take Boston, I wonder how much I would need after that. Take, yeah, take Boston and Chicago. Would that be enough? Because without America, Canada is not going to last, like, at all. They will fall apart. Also, get MPs in the US. Uh, they should. Yeah, they should already be getting my garrison's in. It should be fine. I think we'll be fine. I think... Oh, oh yes! We did it! Ha <laughs> ha! America has capitulated to goddamn Portugal. Ha <laughs> ha! Right, it's just... Oh, God, we just need to take, like, Canada, don't we? I'd never made any collaboration governments for them. So we're gonna have to go pretty hard on them. Um... Right. Cancel all your orders. Right. Oh, God, you're going to go the entire front, aren't you? You? There's only, like, a few cities we need to worry about, right? Basically, take all of that... For me, please. Go. Immediately. Like, before they even get to the border. You guys. How, ma how many troops are left? There's a few Mexican divisions, like, just in here. Surprisingly, yeah, there was a few Mexican troops just buried in here. Also, my troops. What? The logistics is gone. I always believed in Portugal's supremacy. Come join Portugal on the next world tour, all the way from Russia to America and back again. You can support the Phoenix Empire. Yeah, you need to take Toronto, Quebec, Vancouver. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, I need to go over there. I need to be all the way over there. Um... 
Oh, Marines. Great. I'm glad that you're here. You did a great job. How would you like to just be here? And then attack across here. I think you would love that. And just go for it. Right, all of you. Yep, just railroad in. Uh, I can afford for you to send everyone to kill that. Just go kill that, please. There is some... There's a Mexican division there trying to get out. You guys need to take out this random aspiring Mexican division. He's not gonna take over the US like this. There we go. Force him back. Go for it. Kill him. This He's trying to escape to Canada. This guy. He's legitimately trying to escape to Canada like this. I think we stopped him. I think we can stop him. Yeah, we got him. There we go. Right, I need to worry about the border here as well. I can't forget about the border of Mexico. So, in fact, the tanks... Can you mop this up? I think the tanks can mop this up. I'll take this army. I'll move them here. And we're gonna go to Mexico City. <laughs> right, Montreal. Ottawa is taken. If we take Quebec, that'll get us a port up here, which is gonna be vital. Come on. Got Quebec. We need for our supply. Oh, yes. Oh. <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. This is what we need. This will supply us with everything we need. Mainly tanks. Artillery. I need to go so hard on everything. I don't even have, you don't understand, I don't even have enough, like, resources at the moment. I'm, actually, no, I take that back. With America, I have all the resources I could ever need. We are, we are keeping America. I have to keep America. I need all of this for the war to come. I don't have rubber, apparently, but... I have everything I need to make all these tanks. Same with guns. We need all the tank inf Oh, yeah, we're out of steel now. Even with all, we've, with all of America, we do not have enough steel for our guns. What do I do with all this? I need stuff that doesn't need steel. <laughs> Which is impossible. Air airplanes. That's how I'd solve it. Just crap tons of airplanes. Is that enough? That is enough, right. Even now, I need to rely on places like Sweden. And Siam. It's not enough. It's never gonna be enough. Right, decisions. Can I improve anything? Uh, I can develop oil fields. Sure, keep developing oil fields. Needs garrison. Yeah, I'm garrison in Mexico. This amount of industry is about to make me act up. This industry is going to be what wins us the war with Germany. That's why I need to keep it. There we go. Right, we got the supply in. How are you doing? Are you, you're at Vancouver. Great. How are you guys doing? So I have 28 war, uh, war participation. We're about, hopefully about to take Vancouver. There's Halifax down here. Uh, Mexico is slowly being decimated <laughs> by the force coming across from the United States.
Uh, I just need you to go really fast. Like, right into them. If we can take Mexico City before we capitulate Canada. In fact, can I do that? Yeah, I think I can. Because they've got, they've got Winnipeg down here. If I leave Winnipeg and just take out Mexico, that'll give me more war support. Or more participation. Now, I'm looking at the end game. I need all the participation... I need all the participation I can get against Germany. Yeah, we're finding more rubber as well. So yeah, my horde of troops... <laughs> somehow, I think after the United States finally gave up, Spain finally stabilized their line. How many men has Spain lost? Spain! <laughs> what was you doing? He's not lost as much as me. And I have been winning on every front just about. I never did win on the African front. Africa, Africa's still... Africa's still going strong. I could attack out, but it's not its not needed. I don't want the pain of attacking in Africa. I'm done with that. Just the occupation of all of these majors and minors will, be, will do me. Why are you not heading towards Halifax, by the way? You should be doing that. Okay. Keep going. We just pretty much we just need to head to Mexico City, and I think they'll fall apart. Uh, yeah, United States of Mexico is not alone for this world. <laughs> Your troops in Africa have basically been uh, taking an extended safari trip. Buy oil off the AI and lease it. Lend lease it back to them. Actually, you know, I have so much oil production, I could have been doing this to get my war participation up. Let's see if we can do this now. Sword Lend Lease. Supply oil. Just daily. If I, I've got all the oil of everything. Can I give you that? They'll accept our material support. Lend Lease Sent should... Yeah, that should start ticking up. Just before the end. <laughs> Let's see. 100% of my daily oil... Should I do this? Like, should I just say, Italy, here is 40% of my oil. How much is that? How much is 40% of my oil, anyway? I don't know. I'm sending it to Italy, though, so I hope they enjoy it. It'll, it'll get me a few more ticks. I'll take it. The big one is taking down Mexico. Which is about to fall? Should be. They can't have too much left. Come on. Can't have much left. Spain's coming up. Take the ports if you can. The lend lease I took in did reduce my con contribution, but... Yeah, I think this should be fine. British attack out? The British are not... What do you mean they're attacking the French? <laughs> Why are the British attacking the French? What do you mean? They're turning on each other like animals. Uh, did we? We haven't taken Halifax, but I think we're about to. Mexico has capitulated. Excellent. That's that's a very weird distribution of land. Right, my participation is. Come on, I've got to do. I've done a lot. Right, let's finish off Canada, shall we? I think just Halifax is all I need. If you take this, you, you'll get the supply you need. Oh, they've attacked through Winnipeg. Well, that's fine. 
Yeah, I can turn this force around now. If you thought Canada was going to make a comeback, you're wrong. It's, it's a pipe dream. Okay, and with that, we should be free to go to Halifax. 1949. The greatest war mankind has ever known is about to end. Just, it's just the Canadians left. That's all it is. Is that enough? No, it's not enough. Right, we do need Winnipeg. Fine. Go for it. Just go hard. Yeah, we're just pushing through. <laughs> go ahead. Don't be shy. Go straight for it. <laughs> the greatest war mankind has ever known. Eyes, ah, Germany, greedily. Right. There we go. The war is over. Yes, I could have gamed it by just keeping Canada balled up while I get, like, farm war score. But again, I'm not doing that.